Hey everyone, John here, and today is a special day as a bunch of 2K games have just released on Nintendo Switch. There's the Bioshock Collection, the Borderlands Collection, and also XCOM 2 Complete. So we're going to show off Bioshock because that's one of Game Explain's favorite franchises. So we get Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2, and Bioshock Infinite. Now I did buy the entire collection, but they do come as three separate icons, and for one big reason, these are chunky, chunky boys. So uh, Bioshock 1 is around 12 gigabytes, not too bad, but I think the entire collection adds up to around 40 gigabytes, with infinite being around 20. So yeah, these definitely will take up a lot of space on your card. Uh, anyway, one big thing that bothers me and probably no one else, if you arrange your games by title, for some reason, we get Bioshock 2, Bioshock Infinite, and then Bioshock 1. So 2, 3, 1 is the order which is an Ocarina of Time puzzle in the first temple. But anyway, let's, uh, let's give this a go. Oh god, first you have to consent to whatever all this is. Yeah, we consent. You gonna let us in? My god, what? It's scary when games do this, because I never quite know what I'm agreeing to, especially with like a single-player game like Bioshock. Like, what do you want from me, game? I don't have much to offer you. Now, um, 2K have been quite quiet about this release, which has me concerned for a few reasons. I don't know how well it's going to run. I don't know how well how good the load times are going to be. I don't know if they have gyro controls. So we'll check out, we'll check all of this in this game and watch. Um, but if you want like a uh, more uh, in-depth comparison between this and the PlayStation 4 version of the collection, we're going to have one of those up with Bioshock Infinite and Bioshock One and maybe two. We'll see how time goes. Oh, this is an Unreal Engine 3 game. There are very few of those on the Switch. I think uh, Rocket League is one of them. But apart from that, yeah, not many games use Unreal Engine 3. I don't think it's officially supported on the system. So that's going to make this even more interesting. Unless they ported it to Unreal Engine 4, but I don't think so. Oh, you've encountered an error. Oh. Do I have to be online? Yeah, I think so. Alright, well, I was, I, was, I was in flight mode, but I guess we've got to fix this. So yeah, you've got to be online, apparently. Do you, have to, do you have to do that for the entire game? Uh... Are they... I don't know what they want from me. N never show this again! <laughs> okay, let's just start a brand new game, I guess. Medium. So yeah, my first concern was load times, because it doesn't seem like they've compressed this game much compared to the PlayStation 4 version, which usually means that games load uh, take longer to load. But let's see. Oh, you know, that, that was fine. You know, this, is, this doesn't seem too bad. But let's check the visuals. Now, Bioshock 1, uh, well, the entire collection, were originally 360 and PlayStation 3 games. So they shouldn't struggle to run too badly on, on Switch. Son. You're special. We'll see. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. When I first played this game for the very first time, I remember watching this opening cutscene and just like just swimming in the ocean, just standing still for over a minute because I thought it was still a cutscene. Because this game, at the time, the water visuals were unparalleled. I'd never seen anything quite like them. So I remember I bought it on um, 360 quite close to launch. And after this part here, when you swim up, I thought something was going to happen. And then I touched the controller and started moving. And it was crazy just how good this game looked for the time. And it still looks good. Right, we'll test out, when we get on land, we'll test out some of the controls and see if this game has gyro. And if this game doesn't, I'd imagine Borderlands doesn't either. Nor, uh, well, I, I guess XCOM wouldn't, but... So, so far... It's hard to tell how good the game looks because we can't really see a whole lot. But, you know, this part's running fine. Oh, just the, the camera framing of the lighthouse here is great. I love how it brings your view to the plane crash, and then you're just drawn to this beautiful lighthouse. Bioshock 1's always been my favourite of the trilogy. Um, it kind of goes backwards for me, where I, I love Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2 is great, but it also kind of feels like a directed video Disney movie. <laughs> and then Infinite is one I've never really clicked with. 
I always found it like the gu the gunplay a little repetitive and yeah. All right, let's see. Is there are there gyro controls? Options. Customize controls. HD rumble, but I'm not seeing any gyro. Oh no. Yeah, I think I don't think there's any gyro controls, fellas. That's disappointing. That's really disappointing. Yeah, I can't see anything. Ah, oh, that sucks. It feels weird to have a Switch first-person game without gyro. I remember I was covering um, Payday 2 on the Nintendo Switch, and after playing, like, Splatoon constantly, I was moving the controller out of habit, but then nothing would happen. So it's quite a dark game, making it a little tricky to tell just how good things look, but I think think it looks good. <laughs> it's so hard to tell. I guess we'll figure out how well it runs when it comes to combat, but yeah, like thus far, this doesn't seem so bad. I mean, it always has that kind of oldy sort of grainy look to it anyway. Now this opening, man, this is, this is an adventure. It's been a while since I properly played Bioshock all the way through. But uh, this, for the very first time, it was like, whoa, it, it was so engaging. I am Andrew Ryan. Uh, in, in Bioshock, there are very few characters that you actually meet. So when they, when they speak to you, it's such a presence that's being injected in. No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose Rapture. Rapture. That was too early. <laughs> God, this is one of those games that I really wanted to have on a handheld. When the Switch was first announced, I remember I mocked up screenshots of Dark Souls and Resident Evil 4. And I intend to do Bioshock as well, but this has always been one of those games that would just be delightful on a handheld. And I remember um, the PlayStation Vita had a Bioshock game announced. Like, in the lead-up to Infinite, during one of Sony's conferences, they came out with a Vita, and they're like, guess what's happening, and then nothing was ever followed up on. So that Bioshock Vita game was just sort of silently cancelled. But now we, we finally have portable Bioshock, all three of them. So I, I can't quite tell if things look a bit blurry, because we're underwater right now. But that sign back there didn't look amazing. So I'm not 100% sure if this is like 1080p or not, because it, it's it's tricky to tell. Like, let's look at something that's not underwater. Like, my, my instinct is this isn't full 1080p. But nothing's really given me a great like point of reference, though. At the very least, the load times don't seem so bad. Although this one is uh, a little longer than the, the prior one. Not bad, but also not, not amazing. Gosh, I wish, I wish this game had gyro. It's, it's not like a very intense shooter. But it would have been so cool for just some sequences, though. <laughs> this part, I remember thinking this was like a like an all out like all out horror game when seeing this scene. But I think this is this is about as scary as the game gets. Hmm. Again, I don't know if it's the lighting, but that guy looks looks kind of rough. Hmm. I really can't tell how good this game looks. So it could also be because we're behind some glass at the moment, but... Yeah, that character model looked kind of blurry. Hey, hey, hey. What are you doing? Would you kindly pick up that shortwave radio? I don't 
at the very least, A is accept, and not all games make that that um, connection. Like Dark Souls, B is accept, which is a crime. There we go. Okay, now we can properly see if this game looks good or not. So let's go and find an enemy. We should be getting a crowbar in a second. Or a wrench. It's definitely a very dark game. Hey, hey, hey. It's been a while since I've played the original Bioshock, but I remember just loving it so much. Hmm. I I really I'm kind of torn. I, I wish it looked a little bit better because it, it it looks good. And I haven't played the PlayStation 4 remaster to tell just how well that one holds up. But honestly, it looks a tiny bit rough. This was a beautiful looking game at the time, but. Of course, it's been a while since since then. Oh, I think we're getting our electrical powers in a sec. But yeah, the, the frame rate looks iffy. It's really hard to say how good it is. It's not 1080p, I'm pretty confident saying that. But this, this has always been quite like an artistically strong game, though. Also, when it said HD Rumble, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what it meant. Because right now the controller's just like full blast rumbling. I don't know if this is HD. <laughs> like it's like it's an inappropriate rumble. It's the kind of rumble that someone in your house hears and they think you're up to no good. <laughs> I don't remember the voices being so quiet. Hmm. I can barely hear him. The other guy was quite loud, right? But he was so quiet. What was that about? Hey, Daddy. God, the, the rumble is so strange! <laughs> they definitely said HD rumble in the menu, right? Look, Mr. Bubbles, it's an angel. Hmm. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute, he's still breathing. It's alright. It's really bizarre, because I don't know angel. if the image looks rough because it's just some filter the game has on. Because during gameplay, it looks alright. I don't know though, it, it, at times, the resolution seems to go really low. Like, this doesn't look that, that bad. This seems fine. Hey, plane! Yeah, the rumble's awful. <laughs> it's, it's really bad. <laughs> the game's great, I'm sure it is. I mean, it's Bioshock, how, how, how much can you mess it up? But that rumble... Hey, fishies! You can't hit the fishies. And we should be getting a pew 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 soon. Alright, there's some splices around here somewhere. Are you dead? Yeah, you dead. Oh, uh, there he is. I definitely remembered a splicer somewhere. Where did you go? Where you at? Oh, there you are. Just admiring that, are you? Now, was that the only splicer? Hello? God, I forgot how satisfying these plasmids are. Hmm, the frame rate... Got a little dippy there. Ooh. Are you on fire? Excuse me, sir. You are on fire. Yeah, the, the models look really strange. Let's just reload our plasmid. I might have to turn the rumble off when playing on my own because it's really hard. 
I don't know how to describe, like, most HD Rumble's pretty soft, but this one's like a full blast vibrator. <laughs> it's, it's so weird. <laughs> Well, they, they said very little about this game, so I'm, I'm happy to at least be able to give you guys some details. It's... Bioshock's always going to be great, right? It, you, can't, you can't really have a bad time with this game. But the port itself just seems a little rough. There he is, the man himself. Also, I don't know if this is just controller smoothing. Like, I can probably change it in the options, but... Moving the, uh... Camera around, it is a little stiff. Like if I try to do like, like this, it takes a little while to get full speed. I'm not sure how well it's coming across in the footage, but all right. Who else wants to be shot with lightning? I forgot about that arrow. That's very like, uh, <laughs> very like Xenoblade kind of arrow. Did I walk past anybody? Let's go say hi to the little sister. Hey! What you doing down there? She's just playing. I'm, I am curious to see how it does compare. Because it could just be the game's aged, visually. But like, look at that model, you can barely make out details. And oh, that's not nice. Here he is. It's the big boy. God, big daddies are such a great enemy. God, this rumble. <laughs> Next time it rumbles, I bring it up to the microphone and you tell me what you think. It doesn't rumble often either. It's very inconsistent. Did you hit, like, listen to this. Okay. <laughs> it only rumbles at certain times as well. It's so weird. Alright, let's, uh, do that. I love when games let you just s smack open, open locks. Hey. Oh, she requires a few hits, do you? More games need, like, wrenches and crowbars, as items. They feel so good. Top 10 crowbars. One sec, bear with. Man, I wish this had gyro. It feels so weird aiming the gun with sticks on the Switch. I've been playing um, Halo 2 Anniversary on PC with a Switch Pro Control with gyro. And that's such a good feeling. It's hard to go back to just regular sticks. Ah. Alright, come on. Oh! Uh -oh. Hey, hey, hey! That's not nice. Wait for this guy to come down. Now, where's the other person? There's definitely someone over here somewhere. Where are you guys at? I was about to say, I can hear you, but I just couldn't see you. Is that everything? You done now? The audio mixing's a bit weird, like sometimes I can hear people perfectly, other times not. I remember this is where the, I think this is where the demo ended, and I replayed that thing so much. Now the physical version of Bioshock is really weird, where, like, um, for some reason, the game has the beginning of Bioshock 1, 2, and Infinite. 
but like no full game though. So like you can buy, you can play like the beginning of Bioshock One, but you can't play the entire thing unless you download it. So it's it's a weird approach. Come on. Yeah, you keep yapping, Ryan. Most of the game isn't too story heavy like this. Like, it, it goes um, along at a pretty brisk pace. Come on, let's all just be friends. I'll hit you back! I'll hit you back! Ah! Yeah, you take that. Now, which way do we go? Ah, over here. Do they ever actually come through? <laughs> I've never like spent the time to see if they, they actually there's any impact there, but I think they just keep smacking the glass, right? But yeah, interesting to see how this holds up. Cause so far, like it, it's still really fun. It's still Bioshock. I just wish they took a bit more care with it, though. But still, to have this kind of game on a handheld is always going to be really cool. Now you've met Andrew Ryan, the bloody king of Rapture. Like, it's, it's just great to have last-gen games on the go. I think that's something we, we can't take for granted sometimes. I've played a lot of uh, Dark Souls on Switch. Just because it's so cool to just have this, this game that was once revolutionary in the palm of your hands. I wish we had a few more last gen games on Switch. Like, Sonic Generations would be awesome on Switch. Now, which way do we go? Oh, the hacking! I forgot <laughs> I forgot how the hacking worked! <laughs> yeah, it was like this mini-game. Oh dear. I've forgotten how it works, though. Uh, so we gotta go. Let's take this. Um, um, um. It's been a while. I'm rusty. So we want to put this here, put that there, wait, no, uh, uh, this, we've messed this up. It's been so long since I've used this, I've forgotten how clunky it is. So we want that there. Right, no, oh gosh, this is the first one, I'm already struggling. Okay, alright, hang on. Uh, I'd rather just not do this. Let's just say it's finished. Hooray! Or do we have to? Yeah, I think we have to. Alright, we'll try again. So, we want... Let's get this. Put that there. We can just work backwards. Like, put that there. This might work. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so useless at this. Right, let's put this instead there. Oh, wait, you get more pieces. Ah, okay, that makes sense. That makes more sense. Let's just keep doing this until we get lots of pieces then. I think there's a plasmid that like automatically hacks things for you. That's what I need right now. And uh, I just want to replace this with this. Right? Is that going to do it? Yay! God, it's been ages since I've used that. I forgot how weird it was. Alright, anyone else? Oh, there's someone else. Where are you? Hey, why are you shooting us? We're slowly getting those bucks. And what the oh, hello! Thankfully, the AI is one of those who just sort of circle around, so they're not that much of a threat. Oh, the machine gun. I remember. Ah, oh, this is a great machine gun. Top 10 game machine guns. 
Right, did that open that door over there? Yeah. Cool, we're good. Now, has anyone come to kill us? The answer is usually yes. Hey! Yeah, the gunplay's not quite as elegant as I remember it being. It might just be the lack of gyro. Oh, first aid kit, I forgot. Press B to use the first aid kit. I, I almost died then, so I just completely forgot to use them. Okay, who else is alive? We're out of plasmids, okay. Alright, anyone else alive? You're alive. You're very alive. Okay. We need some Eve. We got some. Alright, we're, we're good. We're good. Let's, uh, reload the plasmid. Need a few more medkits. Wait, is someone else alive? I heard a voice. Who's alive? There's gotta be someone around here, right? Ah, maybe not. Okay, we'll go a little bit further. Let's just get a bit more Eve. Oh, 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 hey, 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 calm down. Let's just quickly do that. So I could have hacked that, but instead I thought I'll just take it head on. <laughs> Anyone else around here? I'm taking that laughter as a yes. But where? The arrow's just kind of taking me in circles. I definitely remember there being, yeah, some people around here. Oh! Hello! Let's just reload again. One thing I like about the EVE system is something that shooters don't do very often, but usually when you reload a gun, you don't really lose anything. Whereas with, the, with EVE, once you reload it, you kind of, you lose what you have left. It's sort of this risk versus reward kind of system. Why do we have two tiles? Hey, dude! Dudo! Not a bad dudo. He's a bad dudo, too. Hey, what happened to him? <laughs> Did he blow himself up? Oh, we gotta go and get the telekinesis plasmid. I know Andre's favorite Bioshock is two, which is interesting, because that's it was one that disappointed me when it first came out. I'm sure I'd like it a lot more if I played it now, though. We've still got our little turret following us. Our little buddy. Anyone else? Oh, yeah, you! Hey! Hey, 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 where are you going? Hey! <laughs> where are you going? No one escapes the John. 
Oh, apart from you, apparently. Where are you? Who shot me? Hey, you! What are you doing? Why would you do that? Right, let's try and do this elegant. Wait, is it already? Oh no, okay. Is, is, I thought about this. I thought it was already done for a moment. So I want to. Uh, this is going badly. Let's find a good one. Okay, take you. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Then we want to take you. Go like that. Wait. Yeah, actually, that would be fine. Then like that. Then, then, uh, 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 you. I hate this hacking system. <laughs> it's so, it's so scary. All right, we'll take you. Put you there. Put you there. I think we're slowly getting there. I want another up piece, though. Take you. You might be okay. Well, actually, no, we want... Actually, this is fine. This is fine. Let me just want one of those little curvy ones. Hooray! Oh, no, wait, no, 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 no! Oh, okay, I thought I pressed finish. I almost pressed finish. All right, now you are helpful to us, even though I think all the splices are dead. All right, who remains? Who's alive still? Oh, I think I found it! I think I found the way! Hey! Is this the way to the fire plasmid? This is a bad dude though, let's just shoot him. That was easier. There's, there's your solution everyone. Guns. He's dead, why are you still shooting him, turret? Let the man just be. <laughs> oh, whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Alright, ready? Wish you can run past. We're very sneaky like that. No, we were being sneaky though! How could you have known? Alright, there's a, definitely a plasmid in there, so we just gotta get in there somehow. Oh. Guys, I think I hear a big daddy. Alright. How do we get in? Oh, just crouch. Okay. There we go! Now we can just blast through the ice. And we should be good to go. Come on, turret, kill them! There we go. Alright, anyone else want to be shot? Which way did we come from originally? Should we just throw the arrow? I'm sure the arrow knows. And um, we should be good just to go and melt the ice now. Perfect! Yeah, this machine gun is definitely a lot more effective than the wrench. <laughs> My favorite place, the dentist. Right, well, I think this is probably a pretty good place to stop. Um, but if you enjoyed this, let us know in the comments below. And are you going to buy the Bioshock Collection on Switch? And have you bought any other 2K games like XCOM or Borderlands The Collection? Let us know, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explain for a lot more on 2K games and other things Nintendo Switch as well. Until next time, everyone. Bye.